Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In this morning's live video broadcast, it is Coffee with Tish, where you get to sit down and have coffee or tea, or if you're you know, in a different time zone, you can have a beer or a mixed adult beverage. Whatever beverage you choose to have, that is completely up to you. So, you know, you just do what you do you, okay? <laughs> and because I was running around this morning, I am slightly off track with everything. So we're going to switch over from the speaker to my headset. There we go. And we are going to say hello to those that are in the chat. I see Doris. Hello, Doris and Andy. Good morning. Well, good afternoon to you. And Jelly Duck, great to see you. Awesome, awesome. So today we are going to go through why, um, yeah, Doris, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Um, we're going to go through why I think it's important and I think there are a lot of people out there that have been artists or creatives. Um, well, I think it's important to experiment um, and just try new things and try be inspired by somebody and take what you have and try and emulate it. And, and, and you know, it goes with any kind of any kind of creative process, whether it's art or baking, or even like um, computers and stuff. I mean, if you see something on someone's stream and you're like, well, that's kind of cool, you know, be inspired by it. Um, but you know, the the thing about being inspired too is always to, to, to go back and thank the person that inspired you. Um, I know, um, I don't know, you guys probably don't know who he is, but his name is Vibe and he does, um, tech stuff and he really inspired me to push my boundaries and so I sent him a, a DM on Twitter just thanking him for being inspiring to me and I think I made his day you know if you could make a black man blush I think he was blushing so and he's always he's just so full of fire and just so awesome and and I love him so um Travis is the same way. Just I tell him thank you every once in a while. Thank you for motivating me. Thank you. Leela is another, you know. Although Leela and I usually just have complaint. <laughs> we just have, excuse the language, but we just have bitch sessions. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. But anyway, just make sure that the person that you, that inspires you, you know, let them know because that's the reason why we do these things. That's why we go live. That's why we make our, our, um, our channels and you know whether you're on Facebook or Twitch or Twitter or YouTube or whatever this is why we do what we do is to reach out to people to entertain people to inspire people especially this channel here so you know before I really get started if you're new to the channel let me just say welcome thank you for joining us today if you're enjoying the vibe and want to join a little creative tribe all you got to do is click that subscribe so um, on Tuesday night, I did uh, Tish Talk, which is an art chat interview with another artist. And Heather Mater from Heather Mater Art joined us on that. And I did some art that was inspired by Fiona. And she does these really cool. And this one turned out the best of all three. Okay. So, <laughs> but they're really cool. Um, like a reverse dip. And they're very metallic. I don't know if the light. I have sun this morning, so my lighting is all off and I didn't get a chance to really adjust it. So, but you can see the metallic because there's copper and blue. Actually, that's bronze. Um, bronze and blue and iridescent white. So it's really metallic and really pretty. So I did this one and then after the live, I'd had two more that I had done and I didn't really like them. So I did another dip on this one, but I used plastic wrap on this one and it turned out still kind of pretty. Um, I'll probably do another one like this to match. So I have three of them, maybe do different colors, you know, same iridescence, but different colors, maybe, I don't know. So I have three because I that's how I'm going to be doing the eight by tens is by threes, unless I have a one off and then that'll become a giveaway item. So stay tuned for all of that because right now I have a whole bunch of paintings on my back table. 
that are all being finished right now. So, um, and all the past giveaways that I've yet to mail out, um, those will go out hopefully next week. So if the weather cooperates and my body cooperates. So this is the third one. <laughs> and we can see that there is, <laughs> there's Weeza. Hello, Weeza. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. <laughs> you're playing hooky. Oh, say shame on you, Lisa. Now you're now now everybody's gonna know. Not that anybody from work ever watches my or you know my old job. But this is one that was supposed to look that's that was like this at first, and then I didn't like it, and so I tried doing the I tried doing a double reverse dip like I took the first one with the plastic wrap I picked it all up and then I came over and I put it down and I laid it all out and it turned into hot garbage so I just took the extra paint and slid it all off and it's pretty it's cool but it's not me so um I'm going to paint over this one actually because this is all dry those other two are just barely dry and then one of the things too is um I noticed that always there's a circle in the middle and I wasn't really happy with that. So I cut out, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, I cut out little sections in between the pouring areas so it'll go all the way under, hopefully. So um, I have like a bajillion of these. Um, they're just bottom, I don't drink soda anymore. So I, I'm kind of coveting them. <laughs> I haven't had a soda since I left Life Fitness. So um, yeah. That was like six weeks ago. But anyway, um, I put a little knob on it so it's easier to lift off because lifting these up when they're full of paint gets to be kind of difficult. So I put a little knob on there. So what we're going to do is I've got Artist Loft Metallic Bronze. I got Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. I got Deco Art Sapphire. This is Windsor and Newton Deep Turquoise. And this is uh, Liquitex Basics Iridescent White. And then as part of my experimentation process, I'm experimenting with another mix of paint because I'm not able to find um, the Artist Loft White at Michael's. Um, I haven't been there in about a week, but every time I, it's like, it's never there. So um, I am trying to find another one to use as a base coat. So this is a combination of um color place paint the house paint interior paint and um a little bit of titanium white just to brighten up the white a little bit and make it a little bit thicker and then this has been watered down a little bit more this is what i'm going to use with the little cups but this is and this is two to one flow trawl so it's fairly thick so we're going to use this as the base coat So, and if you'll notice, I have the stream element spot going. I'm trying to figure out how to rename that because I had a really cool idea um, to use the stream bot and <laughs> it'll be cute. So, um, we'll see how that goes. I got to figure that out. The other ones I can find are for Twitch. I can't find one for YouTube. So, because um, stream elements is usually for gamers. Andy would be familiar with stream elements or how to do it on Twitch, I'm sure. But um, I need to figure out how to do it on YouTube. And that's a slow process. Computer stuff is a slow process for me. But I get it. it, it I'm getting better at it. That's one thing. You know, the more live streams I watch um, and Andy, Andy over on his channel, he has a Twitch channel and he has a YouTube channel. And he is an amazing live streamer. I love going to his live streams. Unfortunately, <laughs> when he goes live, I don't get a notification until after he's been live. And I'm like, dude, I missed you. So um, I got to figure out a way to get more notifications or fix that in my Discord. So I get an actual notification instead of just like a notification in my email. I have it on my phone. I should be able to set that up. But again, computer stuff. 
All right, we're going to take a little bit more of this and we're just going to dump it over the edge here. So, um, been busy finishing paintings and doing more computer work setting up a web page. Um, if you want a sneak peek at that, it's not finished, but you can go to um, happenstancefurniture.com. I know it's my old website that I'm just kind <coughs> of reuse. I'm going to reuse the website. I'm going to get a different domain name that's the Artist Haven. And, um, and use that, but I'll use both because I'll both have my furniture there too. Um, if you haven't seen my furniture, um, join the Facebook group. Um, the links are up for all of that are on my link tree, um, which I do believe I have in my description. I think I have it all in my description. I don't even know anymore. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to put it like a so. And I just, I, you know, I don't care if it's not perfectly centered. I'm good with it. Okay, so I've been watching Fiona, <laughs> like every video, and watching how she does this because her stuff is just simply amazing. So I don't have the iridescent, the iridescent medium, the, the, that she uses with the titanium white. So I'm just going to use the regular white titanium white. And then I've got some iridescent white. So I'll put that in as well. So we're going to put a little bit of this on top just to get it started. Okay. I know that looks like a lot, but it's not really. Okay. And then we're going to just do a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of that white in between all the colors here. I think I used too much. Okay. There we go. And we're just going to put a little bit of white in between. There we go. I'm going to put some iridescent light down. So we're going to see what happens with these little holes that I made. And, you know, I've made them bigger than I thought I'd need because I can always go back with a piece of tape, of electrical tape, and close off the holes um, if I don't like it. So, um, I'm actually going to take just a little tiny bit of this white. Put that in there too. Okay. And then, um, we'll see if that helps with the circle in the middle. Um, just because I don't have the best of luck with some of this stuff. <laughs> I try, you know, the first bottle bottom pour. And um, if you go back in my history, um, my channel, like I have a lot of lives. And you know what's actually funny is um, a year ago today was my day eight of um, uh, 30 lives in 30 days on Facebook. Um, and actually it's not, not a year ago. It'd be two years ago now. I know that's really scary to say. It's kind of funny how we kind of 
forget how time flies. Okay, next color is this beautiful turquoise. This deep turquoise from Windsor Newton is probably one. Of, it's probably my favorite turquoise because you can do so much with it. And if anybody um, knows that the Windsor Newtons paints are my favorite paints because they're they're affordable and yet you still get the great quality of Windsor Newton. I mean, they've been around for like almost like 150 years or something. It's insane. So I'll put a little drop right there. And then we're going to do the iridescent white. And she uses, uh, Fiona being she, um, she uses a, um, a dessert cup that has a flower shaped bottom. So I don't know if that's what's making the difference between her, um, hers and mine. I know she uses different paints than I do, but I think I've got my consistency pretty close to what she's got. So we're going to do this is the last thing and then we're going to turn it and put a little bit more and then we're going to see what happens with the napkin i got my napkin ready i think i did have it ready there it is <laughs> it fell off the chair okay <coughs> excuse me I need to drink a lot of real quick all right we're going to take this and we're going to lift it up. We're going to turn it right there. There we go. And then we're going to do a little bit of the white down. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And then we're going to do bronze. And I'll put a link to Fiona's channel in the description box. I, I didn't decide 100% this, this morning until after I had gotten everything set up. And then I got distracted with other things. So my ADD brain kicks my butt sometimes. Okay, so we're going to do iridescent. We're going to do iridescent white on all of these instead of using the other white. Because I want to see how different the petals turn out. So we're just going to do the iridescent white straight up. I tried to separate some of the metallic so it wasn't all metallic. That's why I used the regular white. That was my thinking behind that. So always experiment and try new things. Be inspired. And, you know, because you're not going to learn anything if you do the same thing over and over again. And... <laughs> I don't remember who said it. I think it was Einstein that said um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Um, you know, if you want your paintings to look different, if you want your fla your 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 food to have a, a better flavor, you can't just do it the same way every day and expect something to change because it's not gonna it ain't gonna happen. So. All right, there's that, and then the white. And if you'd like to see me do more experiments, I have a link to an Amazon wish list. I also have a link to uh, what I call the Artist Boost. Um, it's like a super chat, but I'm not monetized on YouTube, so I can't receive super chats. So I found a different way because screw you YouTube <laughs> I say that tongue-in-cheek I don't really mean that I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube especially now since it takes a full day for YouTube videos to process so it's like okay 
I get a little behind. Okay, there's that and one more iridescent white and then we're going to take this off and we're going to see what happens. So, um, I encourage you to join the Facebook group if you haven't already. Just go to at the Artist Haven and that'll bring you to the page or at the Artist Haven on, on Facebook. And that will bring you to, um, that'll bring you to our page. So like the page and then up at the top, there'll be a join group and then answer the questions and we'll let you in. And I'm going to blow this out a little bit. That way, so we don't have so much paint on there. And we're going to lift this up. And that, see, that helped bring some color in the middle. I kind of like that. So we're going to do that. We'll try that again. <coughs> okay, and then I'm going to take, whoa, one of my skewers. I only need one of you. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to go through. We're going to bring this down. Actually, let's use the big end to bring some paint in there. Oh, we forgot this guy. Those two got kind of close together, so we're just going to bring it from here and here. There we go. I'm going to dip it in this, and we're going to just go. There we go. Okay, where'd my towel go? Thank you, Doris, for putting that on there. Yeah, Fiona's channel is in the chat. If you want to go check her out, your outlook's absolute gold. Thank you, Jelly. I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like after I do the reverse dip on it. I'm going to do a little bit of this, too, because this I want to bring in some of this. So there we go. Here goes nothing. Well, not nothing. It, it's something. So what I do, one thing that Fiona does, she lays it down and then she unfolds it. And I just do, like, I make a horseshoe shape. Because it's easier for me to control this way. And this is also how I do my vinyl. So I'm kind of good at it. So and then I just lay one side down first. Like that. And then this one wants to crinkle a little bit. So we're just going to help it down. There we go. I'm going to lay that down. Okay. We're just going to pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it a little bit. And hopefully this one turns out. Okay. So we'll bring up this corner first. And then this corner. And I want to try and find the center and keep it there. Now, this is like my fourth or fifth one that I've ever done. So I'm learning as I go, because if you don't learn as an artist or a creative, if you're not constantly learning and growing, then you're going to get stagnant and bored. So we're going to slowly pull this up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There we go. That worked out pretty good. I could have moved it. I could have done it a little bit bigger. Whoop. But that's really cool. And I'm actually 
trying to find my skewer again. And I'm just going to take this bit of color and we're going to do a little dot in the middle. There we go. Okay, so I like this one. It's a little small, but we learned that, okay, we need to make them a little bit bigger on the page. I was afraid it was going to, because the one float over right over the edge. So, but there's that. So, you know, practice, 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 trial and error. You know, you're not going to learn anything by doing the same thing over and over again. So experiment, be inspired. You know, if you have questions, most artists, most creatives, most cooks, most, you know, most people out there, if you have questions and, and it's not that you don't want to do it, you know, obviously go out on Google and try and figure out your own questions to your, you know, your own solutions to your own problems. But if you're struggling with something and say, look, I've done, I've done this for, you know, I've been doing this and blah, 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 blah. Can you help me figure out what I'm doing wrong? And I would say a solid 75% of artists would, would help you do something, you know? So anywho, um, I'm just going to take, where'd my knife go? I'm just going to take my knife here and I'm going to take a little bit of this white. We're just going to kind of smooth out this kind of clumpy section right here. There. So you guys have full disclosure on how I finish this painting. I'm just going to kind of smooth it out. Oh, that got a little bit of paint on it. Actually, I think that's the underneath paint. And that's what I've been trying to cover. Okay. So, you know, don't be afraid to experiment to, like, not like something. Like, if I didn't like this... If I want to go back in with the skewer and add some whirly gigs and wispies and, you know, play around with it, don't be afraid to do it. Because sometimes, sometimes you'll hate it. It'll be awful. And it'll be like, you're like, what the hell did I just do? But um, a lot of times I find that I like a certain thing. That's how I found out I liked my wispies so much is just by going out and adding stuff that I wouldn't have normally done on uh, a painting. Now I'm going to torch this real quick too. Just run a torch over it to get some of these bubbles to pop. So I hope I have inspired you today. And if you're new to the channel and like to see more experiments and um, art of Palooza like last night and art interviews and silly flip cups and do live streams where you guys get to pick the colors please click that subscribe button and because we do all those kind of crazy things on this channel um, I do I am a majority live stream so if you ever have a question come to a live scream scream a live scream well, there's days where I want to scream because things aren't working right. But anyway, <laughs> um, if you come to a live stream, either I or someone in the chat will love to help you out. So, yeah, this one I like. I'm hoping it'll spread out a little bit more. I'm going to throw this in the garbage before I forget about it. And it sticks to my table. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty, too. There we go. All right. So let's torch this guy. Hang on. Where'd my torch go? Oh, yeah. That's right. I was using it for something else. Where'd it go? Dude. Don't make me. There you are. <laughs> I was doing resin yesterday and I needed to use this torch because my other torch is all torched out. Okay, so we're going to pop all these bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. I know I'm not concerned about the house paint that's in the background because I mixed it not only with other regular paint, like um, acrylic paint, but I also mixed it with Floetrol. So it's mostly Floetrol, actually. 
So let's bring that back up so you guys can see again and see the cool cells and lacing that's developing in that. And that looks really cool. I'm really proud of that one. So I might go in and embellish these with some leaves once they dry. But if you enjoyed this video, please share it out there on the interwebs. I'd really appreciate that. And so would all the artists that come onto my channel to promote their channel. Because the more people we have here, the more people we can get there. That'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. So, and I have a link to um, a lot of the... Um, I have links to a lot of the channels that are part of our chats, part of our live streams, um, and all of my live streams. So um, that's in the description box below. You know, there's a lot of great information in that description box. Y'all should just go down there and read it because there's a lot, a lot of information in there that um, could help you answer questions, can help you grow your channel if you have a channel. Um, just a lot of good things that I put down there because I get asked a lot. So... There you go. All right. That's all I got for you today. Um, except for one thing. Don't leave me yet. Um, tomorrow night is Friday Night Flip Cup with my pal, Brooke. She is my bestie, bestie friend. And I love her to pieces and we have so much fun. But yes, set your reminders now for Friday Night Flip Cup. Um, I don't know what colors we're going to do yet, but you know, that's the two of us. So you're going to have fun and we'll have all of the sound effects. Oh yeah! So join us Friday night. Um, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to share it with me. Thank you so much. But remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.